Hey everyone and welcome back. We are looking at the uh, Cricut heat press that I did a video on some time ago. Basically it's a paperweight now. It doesn't uh, know what it needs to do. It obviously does all the functions but um, it's not heating. So Now at first glance you'd swear to God you had to pry this apart. It's made like a clamshell. But if we unplug it and flip it over here You'll notice there's a, right here, you'll see that there's, if I can get it in shot, little caps all the way on the perimeter. And I don't know what's underneath it. It could be a Phillips screwdriver, it could be Torx. But if we pop up those caps, we should get access to have a look inside. So let's do that now. Well, I can certainly tell you that this is very, very hard to, to disassemble. Um, <clears throat> the plugs is not caps, it is actual rubber plugs that hold the uh, the screws in. There's eight of them. And they're just a standard uh, small Phillips screwdriver head. As you can see. The problem with disassembling this unit is that all this here that's in the clamshell part is locked into place as you can see with tabs all these tabs here and it uh, I, I'm thinking I've been here the last 20 minutes uh, trying to get this apart and finally it uh, started to make some movement here now we have this is the the actual top here with the controls and now we can see that there is uh, two plugs here and there's an extra plug over here that might be a test point, I'm not sure we'll have to delve in further but here's the circuit board is there anything damaged on this board? we don't know at this point point. and there's more components underneath here um, and at first glance I don't see anything of any issue there so we have to have a closer look now at this uh, this heat press. Okay, I've removed the controller part of the unit and it does seem to be in uh, good working order, as best I can tell. There are some pretty small parts, I guess you would say. Test points there. Uh, but uh, best I can tell, this is not the culprit. However, uh, we're down further now and we have, it's going to be a, a catastrophe I think when I flip this over, but just as I thought, these pads comes out. And uh, we have some more circuitry in here that I'm trying to get at. And to let go from, from all this hardware stuff. Uh, you're checking all the wiring for continuity of course. But um, I guess the actual physical component that we need to check is this plate here. As we can see now we're pretty well gone past the electronics part and the controls and uh, we're into the stage of actual physical the physical part. This is the aluminum element that uh, heats up and here we have uh, a blue wire here um, the red wire a green and yellow it's possibly ground and then there's another wire here I'm thinking it's uh, it's a two wire and I'm thinking that may be a sensor which is in the center of the board so now we're going to check to see if this element itself is making connection because I have a funny feeling that this the element that's gone. So stand by. Okay, we've got the uh, this aluminum shaft taken off, an actual heat sink area for this transistor right here. And uh, thankfully, there's not a whole lot of SMD components on this, but there's enough, I would suppose. And we have some capacitors here, and everything is best I can test in circuit. I don't want to remove anything else. My wife already has another cricket on the way. But what I did discover a couple of times now I ran across this 
Um, it's nothing to do with the repair, but uh, if you can look at the date on the circuit board, it's 2017. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, yeah, this unit was made in 2017, which tells me that it's old inventory. So anyway, okay, we've gonna we're gonna move beyond this. Everything that I can check is uh, is good. Got myself cut here now. Gonna be okay. Um, I'm gonna move on beyond this and go down to that plate and see if there's any power going to that. Um, that heating plate down there. I think that is suspect right now. Okay, we now have the second last part removed and uh, I've clipped a few wires because there was just no way getting in there without doing any damage anyway without breaking wires. So now we're down at the actual um, heating element right to the bottom here and uh, we see a sensor here which uh, I'm going to have a closer look at there now. And uh, we have uh, some uh, bridge connection here. I think this is just terminal. Yeah, it's just a terminal here. This sends power to, uh, to the grid. And of course we have the same thing on this side. Just a way to, a means of sending power. Almost like, uh, well, basically the same thing as a uh, stove, stove element. And that's what would heat up this pad here. So now, Nitty gritty. Something doesn't seem to be quite right here, but we'll check that. And uh, we're going to check these connections here. This is where I think we're going to run into no power. And although I don't see anything burnt out here, it doesn't look like it, but it's concealed, I think. And we may have issue there. And uh, just as suspected, the sensor checked out fine. Uh, what we have issue with here is um, the plate is burnt out, no connection. And the same thing on this side here. We have uh, a dud heating plate. The element is burnt out. So uh, that'll conclude this video. Thankfully, we got another uh, Cricut heat press on the on the on the way. So uh, this one is, as I'll show you, I'll try to get it into shot. If I can find the date myself, I better find it myself first. Um, 1917, uh, 2017, 1917. <laughs> uh, where are we to? Where is the date on this circuit board? Here we are. And my wife bought this in 2021, I think, maybe 2020. So it was three years old. I don't know if that's good or bad or indifferent, but I didn't. typically you'd think that stuff that was made in 2017 would be sold in 2017 or 2018. Anyway, elements gone, no one on the way. Hope this was helpful to anybody that was out there uh, trying to troubleshoot a, a Cricut heat press. Thanks for watching.